Hi there Libra, thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for November. This month begins on the 3rd with a stunning solar eclipse in your sector of resources. Your everyday cash flow can be influenced by this for the next six months. And there's the potential for real growth because Mars and Pluto, Mars the planet of action and Pluto the planet of transformation, are both feeding into the Sun and the Moon as well. But so is Saturn, the planet of structure, and of course, potentially of restriction. Saturn has been with you in this sector for the last 13 months, and is going to be with you for another year and a half. So it's an important influence, and because it's so close to the solar eclipse, we have to take it into account. It's saying to you that you may have to continue to be mightily self-disciplined in the next six months, particularly when it comes to those treats and luxuries and classy clothes that are all part of being an elegant Libra. You like the best, but at times you may have to stay within budget to cut your cloth accordingly. But the big picture means that if you can do this in time, you're going to build up more and more impetus towards putting down the foundations to make your future much more financially secure and viable. So keep the faith. Mars is in a part of your chart which is bringing in old ideas, old experiences and knowledge. Even someone you used to work with can be very important for the future going forwards. Pluto is there saying that maybe you need to shake up where you live, how you live there, or even family relationships in order to get everything working in the trim that's important. Unfortunately, Mercury is going to be twisting backwards for the first 10 days of this month, so your immediate cash flow could be a bit tight. If somebody owes you some money, they may play some games before you get it. Be persistent. And there's also a full moon on the 17th, when again, you may have to really keep at it in the following two weeks to hunt down what is rightly yours. But persistence is the key here. If we keep chipping away, Saturn supports us. It has a dark reputation, but it can be a planet of opportunity. Jupiter, of course, is the planet of opportunity, and that does start to twist backwards this month suggesting when it comes to your career situation, don't take things for granted, but in the last week of November, it forges a wonderful opposition with Venus, your ruler, suggesting that suddenly your cup of can overflow with goodness, as long as you don't get too carried away. It's also a month when on the 22nd, the sun powers its way into the part of your horoscope to do with talk and thought, everyday communications. And you're going to be stepping up a gear in the last phase of this month. Things are going to speed up. And your mental and cerebral qualities are one of your best assets. So you deploy them to have the absolute impact. I can't change the fact, unfortunately, that Uranus continues to square with Pluto all of this month and exactly the first two weeks, suggesting that emotionally there does tend to be potentially instability around relationship issues. However, as this month draws to a close, another cluster of planets are forging some wonderful alliances as Mars gets together with Jupiter, Mercury with Jupiter. Mars and Mercury in themselves are connecting brilliantly. Your power, your energy, your desire to achieve things and get things done can be awesome as November comes to a close. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.